of course, someone active on this platform like me is going to get my fair share of views, likes, subscribers, as well as haters. Not exactly so, however. I mean, some situations I've seen on other channels are worse, especially the ones with their awfully biased buffoonery saying like, Legendary Godzilla is uni plus in the AP department, or Tyrannosaurus would beat an Argentinosaurus just because it had the balls to take on any sauropods in its environment. And Christmas break is here, with more Christmas breaks, or whatever, means more time. More times means more opportunities to fix stuff. But with that said, I do go quite liberal with Godzilla power scaling. I just tend to stay more conservative with the other side of the fence, dinosaurs. And as I've said already, everyone has their biases, with the biggest head being none other than the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that's why it's the biggest, strongest. Yes, yes, I am aware that JP3 fumbled the ball so hard that veterans of the series have even seen people walk out of the theater because the T-Rex died. Harmless opinion, nothing wrong with that. And of course, there exist people like me that decide to give Rex a taste of its own medicine, shedding some lower light on a rather elusive folk of Africa, Sorniaps Pachytholus. I rather stupidly said it was 42 feet long and weighed 12.2 tons, threw out all my documents, called it a day, got flack, posted a sequel, only making quite a few. And when I say a few, I mean a lot of people didn't like that. So, in all honesty, was Sorniaps 12 tons making it bigger than T-Rex? No. Here's why. So yes, I was wrong about Soaring Ops. Wait, 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 don't leave. But I wasn't. Why? As I've established, I think it's common knowledge by now that phylogeny has less to do with an animal's size rather than actual ecology or where a dinosaur lived. The example I gave with Tarbosaurus albertosaurus being similar in size, but Tarbosaurus is heavier because it needed to down a bigger game. That's why I'm using Tarovander to Giganotosaurus and Acocanthosaurus to Soaring Ops. All four hunted sauropods and shared similar niches. The ratio I gave with Hikonotosaurus is fairly consistent, as a calc gets his frontal bone up to 200 millimeters, slightly larger than Soroniops is 186. Whether this is 180, 190, or 199 millimeters, won't care, as the resource is incomplete, and I'll just take a word for it. The second mistake I made was putting Acrocanthosaurus at 7.3 tons rather than the newer 6.8 ton estimate. Now the ratio remains consistent with this. Okay, so yeah, not bad, but not exactly all that either. So yes, Sauroniops is still the largest allosaur and would stay 43 feet long and 30 feet in height, I've explained in other videos. Whether you're a length man or prefer to go by mass, I'll leave that choice of the largest theropod dinosaur up to you, but I'd say it's T-Rex at this point just because I like him more. Well, all that done, the Vividend did post a video on a Carcharonosaur of sorts up on his platform, Go watch that video, link in the description, or a possible 14 tons in mass off the top of my head. So, in conclusion, yes, Sauroniops is still big, yet is still smaller than T-Rex, in my opinion at least, but I'll leave you to decide. Of course, I won't take down any of those two videos, because doing so would make this one pointless, and you guys seem to like them. I got a bunch of new subs under my belt because of them, and they're here to stay. But whatever... Dang, when I was five, I remember being one of those victims that thought T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus Rex were all different dinosaurs. This, my friends, breaching the boundaries of advanced stupidity, yet not quite into it as a bunch of nine-year-olds arguing and cursing at each other because one of them thought that T-Rex was bigger than a Paleoloxodon, and we have actually found a 15-ton T-Rex? Really? So childish. I mean, look, guys, come on. We all do better. Anyway, that's your cover of this one up. I'll be sure to catch you.